Well, hello there, Chicago Bears fans. It is your lovely host here. It is Rai Rai. And I'm back on this YouTube channel. I took three months off because I had eye surgery. And also, it took me a while to recover. And I'm back. So let me know if you guys and girls miss my videos. Okay. Anyway, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the Chicago Bears 2022 NFL schedule. Okay, it came out back in April, but like I said, just a few minutes ago, I made a video because I had to recover from surgery back in March, so I'm okay now. So let me know down below. I want some feedback. And I have social media accounts. And don't worry. I'll discuss that after this part of the video is over. Let's get into this. Now. Hopefully I did not mess up. If I do. I do apologize. Now the first game. Will be the Bears versus the Niners. At Soja Field. That should be a very good game. I'm not going to say. Bears are going to upset the Niners. Because Niners. They have a lot of great weapons and other stuff. I, don't, I still don't trust Jimmy G. Maybe by the time week one rolls around, the Niners will trade Jimmy G. I mean, he does great in the regular season, but in the playoffs, he might win one game or might win another game, but that team has not been a Super Bowl in a while, since, what, a couple years? So, And they have not won a throw since the 90s, so... They're overdue, just like the Bears. Bears have not won a Super Bowl since the 80s. I know, well, late 80s, that's kind of sad, but it all happens in football. Okay, now week two against a rival, um, the Packers, the Cheeseheads. Sunday night football in Chicago. So very good. Awesome. So we got two home games, I think. Probably messed up. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Um, the second week two is it will be travel to Green Bay. I'm my mistake. Okay, it might be a total blowout or it might be a good game. We all know what happened last year. What Aaron Rodgers says, we still own you. Yes, you guys are still gonna own the Bears until further notice. Until the Bears actually do something. So week three. Against Lovey Smith and the Texans, you know, Lovey Smith will come back to Chicago for the first time since he got fired a couple of years ago or longer. I love Lovey Smith. He's a great coach, but he never won a Super Bowl with the Bears. Sad, but it happens. Okay, week four, New York, New York. It's like up and down. They might beat us this time, or we might beat them. I don't trust Daniel Jones with the quarterback, you know. We'll find out, you know. Maybe this is might be it for the Giants or they might trade my time. Week one rolls around. Okay, week five against uh the Vikings back to back row games. Now look like the Vikings have a lot of great weapons. I'm not gonna say the Vikings are gonna win the division because it's too early. There's a lot of people are predicting the Vikings win the division. Just because you have all the pieces does not mean you guys are gonna win the division because injuries hurt your team, big time, especially if you have the injury bug. We had an injury bug, was it last year or the year before? We never recover, and that really sucks. It's all part of the game. Okay, so don't complain about it. Okay, next one, week six, we got to face Washington Commanders. I don't mind the name, but a lot of you don't like it. Whatever, it's better than Redskins. In my, well, not Redskins, Washington football team, way better in my opinion. Um, so hopefully we could beat them, but you never know. That'll be in. Um, that be home. Then we got travel to the Patriots to face. Um, I forgot who's the quarterback for the Patriots. It's not Tom Brady. <laughs> Last time we faced the Patriots in New England, we got our butt kicked because they have Patriots. I mean, we had Tom Brady. They have Tom Brady and a lot of great weapons. This might be a rebuilding year for the Patriots, or maybe not. Next one, we have faced Dallas in Dallas. Jesus. So. And that's October 30th. God. We'll find out if we're going to be good or not. We might be dog shit by the time that 
game arose around sorry my language okay week nine um dolphins october i mean november the 6th this might be a good game or it might be a total train wreck dolphins are getting better but we'll see what's gonna happen uh week 10 um against the lions first time we meet him lions are just trash i'm sorry but you guys gotta improve if you ever guys want to win the division or make a shocking appearance atlanta atlanta november 20th it's gonna be very cold but it's a dome i love that stadium in atlanta new york jets um week 12 it's gonna be very cold hopefully it'll be snow by the time um it's almost um around the holidays i think a few days after the thanksgiving so hopefully we win if i doubt it jets got a lot of weapons they did good in the draft but those guys could be a total bust but you never know green bay um at home so by the time week 13 rolls on probably packer will win the division or the middle so who knows and frankly who knows who cares okay week 14 is our bye week we might be all busted up we might be definitely be out of playoff contention by then so what's the point of watching the rest of the game because you are a true bears fan so it's gonna be a very hard the next one the eagles probably eagles are trying to win the division or try to get in the playoff they made some big moves in the offseason and even the draft that could be total a bust just because you made some big moves that does that mean you gotta make a playoff run or a Bowl run so hold, hold your pants or however you say it um now we gotta play a buffalo and the buffalo you have a good chance to win the whole super bowl whole thing but you never know injuries you gotta stay healthy for week one all the way through what 18 so and that's home and then we gotta face the lions week 17 in detroit oh god maybe detroit might be good this year or might be like another crappy team week 18 back home against the vikings so that's it hopefully this is the last snow on the ground that'd be awesome i love to see snow in the football games so let, let me do a quick recap a little quickie probably messed up but who gives a crap no he wasn't no he does not know if i'm going or not okay if week one against niners september 11th you know that's 9 11 anniversary um then week two um september 18th against the cheeseheads out there um week three the return of lovey smith against houston uh september 25th um Week four, back in Chicago against the Giants. October the second. Uh, October. I mean, sorry, October the ninth. Week five against the Vikings, first time out there. Washington Commanders. October thirteenth. Week six, back in Chicago. The Patriots, week 7, October 24th against the Patriots. Dallas, um, October 30th, week 8 in Dallas. That might be a very good game. Like I said, Dolphins, week 9, um, November 6th against the Dolphins. Week 10, November 13th against the Lions. Week 11 against the Falcons, November 20th. The Jets. Week 12, November 27th against the Jets out there. Packers, home game on um, December the 4th. Hopefully the snow, that'd be delightful. What, by week, like I said earlier, we might be busted up. But we might be healthy. Who knows, right? Um, the Eagles, week 15, um, home game December 18th. Buffalo, week 16. The 722 and then these um detroit week 17 uh january 1st 2023 to kick off the brand new year um in detroit and then week 18 the last game of the regular season against the vikings in chicago so by the time the last game of the season we may not be out of playoffs or we might shock people we my opinion is we need to split against green bay or probably gonna get swept we definitely gotta sweep against detroit or hopefully we could sweep 
Minnesota was split. You know, I doubt we can get swept everyone in our division. Now a lot of these experts says four and twelve or have a worse record. If it happens, it happens. One good thing is Bears fans. The future is bright for the Chicago Bears. I know they made some decision um trades in the offseason. I clear Mac. I ain't gonna miss him, but they they paid him way too much. Okay. We got new GM, new coach. Hopefully, it's not going to be the same old crap at the end, okay? So, we'll find out. If we're going to be crappy the last few years, I'm okay with it. We've been crappy for longer than that, okay? So, um, I'd like to see the Bears be a dynasty like the Patriots or the Niners. Or back in the day, the Cowboys won they won championships. Would it happen? Probably not until we get new ownership, you know? These owners... Don't want to see anybody winning. If they did, then they would make some big moves. Maybe this head coach and the GM and this other guys will surprisingly say, Wow, they did actually did some good draft picks. Wow, they did good in NFL free agency. And everybody was ripping them. They won the division. They went deep in the playoffs. And you never know. But right now, the media hate the beer for some stupid reason. Now... Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you really want to be a part of the Robert Show, in the near future, double click the link. Double, and then you and I could discuss any kind of topic we discuss about the Bears schedule, your NFL schedule, movies, anything, food, video games. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys next Monday night. Next Monday. And go Bears always. Later. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Sorry if I went a little too fast.